This week we've been starting the conversation about suicide in Kern County. Tonight we're focusing on veterans. There are 40,000 men and women in Kern County who have served their country. And while they were willing to risk everything for our freedom, many want to take their lives after what they experienced in service. And slowly the brave are beginning to speak up about their struggles. He's been in war. It was brutal. It was pretty brutal. I hit an old time low in the barracks one night. And she too has the scars of service. Have you ever thought of suicide? Um, yes, so I guess since we're here now, I'll just say it out loud. Yes, I have uh, thought about and attempted suicide. Raquel Barraza and Julio Torres, both brave members of the United States Marine Corps, at one point didn't see themselves as part of the world they were saving. It's not just, you know, veterans who went out into combat and had to deal with, you know, the war fighting. Raquel was a public affairs and community relations specialist with the Marines. During her service, she was sexually assaulted. I didn't feel like I was deserving anymore. So um, that's when I didn't want to fight anymore. Julio served two tours in Iraq, witnessing brutal battles and began losing the fight for his own good with post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injury. I never thought in a million years that I would ever harm myself. I got real drunk. I mean, I just woke up in the morning and I cut my wrist, sliced my wrist. How many times did you try to commit suicide? Twice. The latest statistics show every day in this country, 20 veterans take their lives. I felt like I was sinking and I couldn't get out of it. As much as I tried, as much as I really wanted to be in a better place, I just couldn't get there by myself. And it sort of drilled into us to just keep soldiering on. Um, so to get them to seek help, one, is a challenge. Jenny Frank is a Marine Corps veteran and the outreach specialist for the Bakersfield Veterans Center. She says after service. They'll ask you as a group, do you have PTSD? Is anybody having any problem? Nobody's raising their hand. Mm -hmm. Nobody's raising their hand. So it's her mission to raise awareness of the help Kern County offers to its veterans silently suffering with PTSD or sexual assault and those with traumatic brain injuries who are three times more likely to attempt suicide. And she tries to let vet families know how to recognize the warning signs, seclusion, substance abuse, giving away personal possessions, and talking about wanting to end it all. Almost every time you meet a, one veteran at least who has never spoken about their experience until they spoke to you because they're comfortable with the veteran. Just ask them the question, are, are you actually thinking about taking your life? Could anyone have come up to you and said, hey, are you suicidal? Are you thinking about ending it? I mean, would that have helped anything? It, actually, I think it would have helped. Julio and Raquel both went through months of counseling with the Marine Corps. For Julio, though, it took the strength of Zeus, a 120-pound therapy dog, to pull him out of his dark place. He turned the world around for me and made me start understanding what's on the other side. You have to do, all right? Today, Julio is using his life experiences, training emotional support service dogs for other veterans, going through similar struggles with the Wounded Heroes Fund. And Raquel has joined him as his training assistant. I've seen dogs change, but I've seen veterans change even more. They have this confidence back. They have that control back. It took time for me to finally understand where my place is in this world. They are two veteran lives saved battling to save all of their brothers and sisters, bringing the number of suicides to zero in Kern County. I wish it was a, as easy as waving a wand, but I think if any community can do it, it's our community. Local Veterans Center and the VA Clinic both offer counseling services, both individual and group, customized to veterans and for their family members as well. And there are specific suicide crisis lines for veterans. You can call 1-800-273-TALK and press 1 for help. That number also has a text option. Or you can call the Combat Call Center at 877-WAR-VETS. If you're interested in learning about the Support Service Dog Program, go to our website, bakersfieldnow.com. And our Zero Suicide Initiative coverage continues all this week. Tomorrow on Eyewitness News, mornings on KBAK CBS, Smart 911 will show you a new system that aims to help first responders assist those with mental issues. And on Eyewitness News at 5 on KBAK CBS, when someone dies by suicide, there's a lot of focus on why. But now there's a shifting focus. The research that finds how someone kills themselves may be just as important. 
If you or a loved one or a friend is having suicidal thoughts or if you think that they could harm themselves or others, you can call the crisis hotline at 800-991-5272 and they will help guide you to the best resources available.